All right, so here we are in a demo account, whatever. So in this instance, we're in our ad account and we're ready to launch our lead ads. So let's just walk through that process just from the beginning. So very simple. Um, we're just going to go ahead and head to Power Editor. All right, so all we're going to do here, now we're in Power Editor, um, we're going to go ahead and hit Create Campaign. Okay. All right, now I'm going to call this, you know, whatever. Let's just say PI lead ad, whatever. Um, here, I'm going to go to campaign objective and the campaign objective is going to be lead generation. Okay, so here under ad set, um, I'm going to call this whatever. Th this is just going to be your normal thing, whatever. Uh, I'll just say Los Angeles plus 10 mile, whatever, right? Uh, male, female, you know, 21 plus, whatever. Okay, I need to create, uh, select my page here so that I, you create, you know, you select it ahead of time so Facebook can, you know, know what forms to pull up under the ad section. Now, this is good. Obviously, I, when we walked through the demo, I, I had not set up a lead form before. So I, I wanted to use a page for that reason intentionally so I can show you this part. So, if this is your, like, you just created a lead ad, it's your first time using the lead ads, and you get up here and you're starting to set it up. What, uh, again, because Facebook has different kind of policies and whatnot for the lead ads, um, it's going to make you accept these terms. So what happens is you're just going to, you'll see this message and you just need to click this, view terms, and it's going to pull up basically the lead ads, you know, terms. And then all you do is make sure you just scroll down and then come here to I agree to terms and conditions. Then it goes, okay, you've accepted the Facebook lead ads terms for this page. You will not be able to run ads until you go through this process. Okay. It won't let you, you have to be, you have to accept the lead ad terms before you're able to run lead ads, <laughs> but that's it. The process is just exactly what we did. And then whatever, this will be ad one. Okay. Okay, and just hit save draft here. Okay, and now here I am. I'm, I'm in my lead ad. Um, I'm actually going to close this, and you would set up. Um, let's go to the ad set. The, the, the ad set is basically going to be set up. Oops. The, the ad set is going to be um, set up the same way. Okay. Your page is auto selected. Um, you're going to select your placements, you know. Uh, you know, use the feed, daily budget, all this other stuff you can see here is the same. Under optimization and delivery, just leave all this default. We always leave all this down here default all the time. Okay. And then um, that's that for the ad set and then the actual ad. So let's look at that because that's the part that's different. <laughs> all right. So um, obviously I left... Um, Instagram as a selection. Actually, let me turn it off so it doesn't uh, distract here. I'll just make it so it's the feeds. So it's all the stuff that we typically um, do. I'll turn that off and I'll turn that off. Okay, then I'll close. Now I'll go to the ad again. So make sure, there we go. Now Instagram's not selected. Okay, so it all, you know, I already had to pick my page. And then, you know, I got my errors as missing a lead form, right? <laughs> so I got to create one or it's saying, hey, you got to select one. Um, all this part is the same. I will use an image or video, whatever, whatever my ad's going to be. Here's my text. Um, all this, all the stuff that's always here all the time. Um, and then for the button, um, you, you have to have a button when you run the lead ad. There's no, there's no other option. So select the one that makes the most sense most of the time 99 percent of the time i'm using learn more um and let's see there was uh, but here you can see the different options you have just pick the one that makes the most sense but for the most part i'm always using learn more or i'm typically using learn more okay so just fyi and then of course you know you'll see your nor everything is the same at this point right nothing different than a, any other ad except for you got this little thing here right so it says lead form now you do have the option to create one i just find it's easier obviously because of all the other steps with zapier and all that that you 
want to create it ahead of time. Okay, and then, but basically you just come here, choose lead form, and then it pulls up, it already pulls up all the forms automatically. And then that's it. Like literally, that, that's it. That's my lead gen campaign. Now, you still use your pixel tracking, okay? Again, the, the pixel's not gonna trigger because of the lead ad, because the lead, you know, they never necessarily get to um, the website, but but they still can. So I'd still rather have the pixel thing turned on, right? Just in case someone does get to your, because you know, there are a percentage of people that once they complete the lead form, they do end up clicking the button, whatever the next step of the process is to get, to, you know, to, to either go to your website or to a new landing page or whatever that is. Okay. Now, okay. So that's it for the, um, for setting up the ad. So let me pop into, I actually want to go to audiences real quick. And then I just want to show you that you can actually build um, audiences off of you know how you would be how you would build a custom audience um, using the lead ad forms. And I'll show you that so you can set up retargeting and whatnot. So you just come to create audience, custom audience. Okay, see down here where it says engagement. Okay, right up here it says lead form. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at your options here. Um, your page, obviously here, and then select the specific forms, right? So you just basically type in there and it'll bring up all your forms. So I'm just gonna put a checkbox there. So basically look at this. So I got my form selected and I'm on my page. I can have anyone who opened the form, right? So they, they click the ad and got to the form. It, you know, the max you can go is 90 days for lead ads. Um, but bottom line is, uh, you know, anyone who opens it and then um, I have, I can go ahead and actually create a retargeting audience right away. People who opened but didn't submit the form or people who opened and submitted the form, which is essentially your leads, right? So you can build audiences off of all of these and I recommend you do, right? Anyone who opened the form, um, no matter whether they became a lead or not. So that's like all visitors to all, you know, it doesn't matter what page. Then the, the next two are actually like, you know, people who opened but didn't submit the form, right? So that's your people that hit the, they open up the form, but they don't hit submit. They don't become a lead. So that's, that, that's who you'd retarget. And then this bottom one, people who actually opened and submitted the form, right? So that's all your actual leads. Again, these are ones that you'd build lookalike audiences off of, you know, use, build custom audiences to use for retargeting. So a lot of different things you can do there, but that's, that's what you have, uh, as your option for custom audiences and, um, for, for actual lead ads. Okay. Um, that's it. So that, that's all on the lead ads, um, uh, training. So we, we went through the overview and, obviously seeing how to set up the form and then we connected it to Zapier to distribute our leads. And then we just walk through actually a lead generation campaign setup, which is again, very simple, select lead gen uh, campaign. It'll ask you to um, verify the terms that you uh, agree to the terms of service for lead ads. Um, you know, you'll set that there and then set up your ad set as normal with your targeting, right? Set up all your targeting and then and the actual ad tab, right? That's the part that's a little bit different. You still set up an ad like you normally would. So actually that part's still the same. You put, you know, use your image, your headlines, your text, all that good stuff, all the same stuff, nothing's different there. Um, but you are forced to select a call to action button, right? Which we typically use learn more. And then you, you have to select the form <laughs> that you want people to use. So you'll just pick, you know, you'll pick the form um, that you're using and then make sure that you have your pixel selected and then launch your campaign. So, all right. Um, and I also showed you here how to build some custom audiences and whatnot to use for retargeting or build lookalikes and whatnot by uh, uh, based off the lead form. So, all right. And um, again, that, that, that's it. That's rocking and rolling now with lead ads. So feel free to launch those and uh, post any questions in the group. In the future, we'll have some Canvas uh, training just for folks who want to utilize that uh, that tool. Again, we don't use Canvas for really any of our campaigns. So what we gave you is exactly what we're using. And um, yeah, again, post your questions in the group. Keep an eye out for more training and uh, I'll see you in another video.